Hey, hi, hello! My name is Graciela, and today is Saturday, and also the first day of a um, self-inflicted challenge to finish a piece of art every single day for the next seven days. Um, the reason that I am interested in not just making art every day for the next week, but actually finishing a piece every day is because I actually am lucky enough to say that I already make art every single day. I keep a daily sketchbook that I, um, extenuating circumstances aside, do work in every day, and that is really wonderful for me. But the art that I am making in that sketchbook is by no means useful to me. It's really just an opportunity to express myself creatively. And obviously that is exactly what I want from my sketchbook, right? I don't want to change that. But I noticed this past month that I really felt like I was making very slow progress on my art. It was the first month where I really like dedicated myself fully to treating art as a career and trying to build up a portfolio and you know do all that good stuff and while i was really avoiding comparing myself to other creators i couldn't help but notice that i was really making very slow progress and having a very slow turnaround compared to most other creators and well part of that i think is just the fact that I have a very detailed and complicated style and that is just naturally going to take a little bit longer than a more minimalist or simple style. You know, I'm, I'm never going to be the artist who is going to be able to sit down and design 10 products in one session, you know? But I also felt like I was suffering from a fair dose of perfectionism. I was really, really, really taking my time with every single step, making sure it was absolutely the absolute best it could be because I knew that all of this was going to be going online, going to be used for some sort of career-related purpose, and I didn't want to be putting any subpar art out there, but I have come to the conclusion that I need to find a slightly more happy medium because while obviously I don't want to be making art that I'm not proud of, I also need to be making art at a slightly more reasonable pace. If I am going to be making products or taking commissions, I need to be able to have a reasonable turnaround on those things. So the purpose of this week-long challenge is not to make anything that I am proud of. Um, I doubt that uh, most or any of these pieces are going to necessarily be good or usable for anything. Instead, it's really just to serve as like a boot camp to get me in the habit of moving on once the time is up and to get better at planning how much time I'm going to be spending on each step. So that is my hope. I am recording this voiceover before I've even started the painting that you're watching me paint right now. So uh, you are going to see the, <laughs> the finished result before I do, but um, I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah.
Hi, hello, today is Monday, and colored pencils are normally more of a supporting actor in my art. I use them all the time in my sketchbook, and I um, occasionally layer them on top of a painting, but it has been a really long time since I have done a fully rendered, fully finished piece entirely in colored pencil. I think that the last time that I did that, it was for a school assignment, and in my mind's eye, that doesn't really count. <laughs> so um, today I wanted to give that a try, and I really enjoyed it. I am pretty happy with the result. I have mixed feelings about the stylization of this piece, though. I feel like the flower is kind of in a different reality than the leaves. Um, I like tried retroactively to like meld them together a little bit better, but I am not really sure what went wrong there. Um, but uh, I don't think that it ruins the piece by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it just is a little bit off-putting in my humble opinion, <laughs> but that's okay. Like I said, the point of this challenge, it is not to make pieces that I like, it is just to finish them. And I did definitely finish this piece, and I was actually pretty um, proud of the fact that I resisted the urge to go back and completely rework those leaves to try and make them match better. I just accepted them as they were and moved on. But yeah, yeah, I, I hope that you like this piece, and I will see you tomorrow.
Oh, it's Wednesday and we are halfway through our challenge. I am officially tired. I am losing steam. Um, and I think that that means it's about time to start obeying the letter of the law and not the spirit. So what I have here are two pieces, both of which I have already started because at no point in the beginning of this challenge did I establish I was going to start every piece. I just said that I was going to finish them. And these are both pieces that I would genuinely like to finish. They were originally part of a series that was going to be with that polyphemous moth, um, but I started it over the summer and I did not finish them before the semester began. And we all know how that goes. So um, today I'm going to do this Luna moth. Um, it's really just a sketch. I don't feel like I'm taking too much advantage of the fact that it is um, already started, but this I'm going to save for tomorrow because I think that this is the lower hanging fruit and um, it's it's like at least 75% done. So that's going to be for tomorrow when I'm even more tired than I am today, but let's get started on this Luna Moth. Okay, so that whole big dramatic speech that I just gave you about how, like, today's gonna be easier because I've already started this piece and this is me taking the easy way out. Yeah, that didn't go super well. <laughs> this piece took forever. I really struggled with it. There was an awful phase where I just hated it with a fiery passion that could not be tamed. And I think that where I went wrong was I was comparing it very heavily to the Polyphemus Moth that I've already done because I wanted this to be part of a series. And, you know, I think that there is something to be said for, like, pieces being stylistically consistent in a series. Like, you know, that's, that's a reasonable thing to aspire to. But I was perhaps going a little too hard and I was just getting really frustrated because I felt like the Polyphemus Moth was so much better than the Luna Moth. And I was like just not understanding why the Luna Moth was not turning out the way that I wanted it to. Um, and I think that in the end, I did actually get it. Like, where I was going wrong, I think, was the proportions were just the tiniest bit off and the lighting was just the tiniest bit off. And, you know, the first thing that you learn about realism in art school is that it's the colors, the proportions, and the lighting. And if you can get those three things right, you know, you've got yourself a convincing piece. And I felt like I really nailed those with the Polyphemus Moth. Like, it's not a realistic piece, right? It's not rendered in that style. It's not like blended within an inch of its life. You can see the brush strokes and that's definitely how I prefer my pieces to look. But I I felt like I got those three things down really well. And so even though it's not realistic, it's still very convincing. In my opinion, the Volifemus moth looks alive. And I just by comparison, this Luna moth it was looking so dead, you know, just really, really unfortunate. And I had to work at it quite hard to get it to where I wanted it to. I actually think that leaving the sketch as it was and not like trying to edit it or redo it in any way was a mistake. I think that, that like lost me time because the proportions were just a little bit off and yeah, that's okay. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, this, this piece took a long time. I am very hopeful that tomorrow our, our spice bush swallow tail will go a little smoother, hopefully.
all finished. I had a much easier time with this than I did the Luna Moth. Um, I think that I really learned a lot um, and this was much smoother sailing. And here's the three of them together for good measure. Very happy with this. I think that I would actually like to make it a set of four, but that is for another time. <laughs> But yeah, all's well and good. I will see you tomorrow. Hello, today's um, Saturday, the final day of this challenge. Thank God, I'm exhausted. Um, today, I really just want to do something that is like... Fun? I just want to have fun. I want to do something that is easy. Zero pressure. This piece is going to be so ugly, y'all. And I'm going to have the best time doing it. I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. I think that maybe I'll like use some of my natural inks, that would be nice. 
but yeah i'm just i'm just recording this voiceover to warn you this piece is about to be so busted and i'm we're, we're we are all going to love it okay if i hear anything nasty about this ugly ass piece i'm gonna be really sad okay go make your own ugly piece and come back and tell me how it feels <laughs> y'all you are looking at one week's worth of art it is somehow so much and also like kind of underwhelming i don't know i made some really um exciting pieces love this love these this guy i think could actually use some more work his legs are a little loose this was really fun this was really, actually, I think probably my favorite piece. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm super tired. Um, I don't really know if I have any coherent reflections on that experience other than it was, I also don't know if I can properly speak English anymore. Um, I don't know if I have any coherent reflections on that experience other than it was very exhausting. Um, I'm super tired. Cannot wait to start editing this footage. <laughs> um, anyways. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Thank you very, very much for being so kind on my last video. The comments that I got were sweet as honey. Like literally some of them made me tear up. It was just so unexpected. I feel so lucky to have evidently attracted a group of people that are really kind and like helpful. And um, that is just so, so, so special. So thank you so much. And um, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.